Yeah, I'll, I'll so I'll pose this to both of you guys because if you find the you know the assertive person with the attitude and the hustle to be successful, but they've got that finesse to be able to consultatively sell and they understand the market and like if you find that person, they're kind of a unicorn, right? Like typically you're finding somebody that doesn't have all of those things and you're coaching them in a certain direction, but eventually, even if they do, if they grow into those things, mm -hmm. that's the person that is looking for the the next highest bidder, right? Like they're the person that every recruiter's chasing. So how do you, how do you like hire, build, train that talent, but then also retain that talent because everybody else is trying to take them out from underneath you? Well, it's like any other role. And, and Ryan, let me hear your opinion too on this. But I think good talent finds a way of getting noticed. You know, I think, you know, the cream rises or whatever that fucking phrase is. I don't know. <laughs> something goes to the top and, you know, <laughs> bubbles up. But uh, I do think that naturally you're always going to be in competition with the market. And so I think that salespeople care about a few things. They care about money, which is the easiest thing to figure out. They care about uh, having some sort of career trajectory and growth. Like, where am I going? Is there a, is there a purpose to this? Or am I always just smile and dial and closing deals and making good money? At some point we have an in internal turmoil of like, I want to do more. I want to have more of a purpose. And so how can you fulfill that if you can? Uh, and the third is just, do they feel invested in as a human? Right. I think that people are loyal to people, at least most people. Um, and they're only loyal to people who they feel like care about them. Right. I'm loyal to my inner circle. I'm loyal to people that entrust me with their money and trust me with their time. But I don't really give a fuck about a lot of people outside of my circles. And so if you can be one of those people in their circle as their employer, I think you can keep people a lot, around a lot longer. The other day, good salespeople who are visionaries, hard workers are probably going to go start their own thing eventually. And they should. And you should, and you should be okay with that. Hmm. Yeah, I agree with all those. Uh, and totally agree on the last point too. Top, top talent. It's, it's like, just be grateful that you have it, you know, <laughs> yeah. because, because the, the, the best of the best are going to start their own thing, you know, and that's something, that's not something that you want to stand in the way of. I think just to add on what Joey said is that, you know, for me, I always find out what it is that they care about, right? All those things yeah. that they out are, are, are definitely on the list. Um, but you just got to get to know that person individually. You know, I have one person at my company who, um, you know, it's about money. And as Joey said, money's easy, you know, just overpay them. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing yeah. to throw another 20, 30, 50. Honestly, at, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's nothing, you know, um, to keep them there and to keep them happy and to keep them productive. Um, you know, culture is another one, especially when everything is remote. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I try and build a company that I would have been happy to get up and work at every single day, you mm -hmm. know? Um, but again, that depends on, on that employee and what they care about because yep. it's, it's different for every person. So I think just, you know, there's a book called The Five Love, love, love Languages. I always joke that, like, it's kind of the same thing at work. Like, you got to kind of know what your staff's love language is. You got to know what they care about at the individual level, you know? And, and, like, the proudest thing that I can say is in in the last eight years of business at my two companies, I've never had somebody leave, never had somebody quit, right? Yeah. Um, and that is, <laughs> that that's the, the number one reason why I'm able to sit here today and actually, you know, I hadn't done anything today. I haven't worked today, you know, so I was at the gym before this, um, you know, helped out my wife with something. And, and, and then I took this call, you know, um, and that's 100% because of the people, nothing yeah. to do with me. It's the people. Um, and I care deeply about that. And I care deeply about keeping them happy. Um, and yeah, just, just, just providing leadership and, and being a leader to someone that they want to follow, you know? And I think that's important. And I think a lot of, uh, a lot of people, um, make money, but they don't understand how to actually build a business. And it's about people, mm. man. That's it. <laughs> it's mm. about your people. It's not about you. It's not about your fucking ego. It's not about yeah. what other people are doing or saying. It's about the people that are working there. That's the 